Hello everyone, welcome to our virtual chemistry classroom. Today, we will be learning about compounds. Enjoy! But before we begin, you might be asking, what on earth are compounds? Well, compounds consist of two or more different elements. Example will be hydrogen and oxygen. The atoms of a compound are held together by chemical bonds. Unlike elements, compounds can be broken down into more simple substances. The properties of a compound are unique to those of the properties of the element that make up the compound. Great, now that we have an idea of what compounds are, let's dive into our lesson for today. The compounds we'll be learning about today are oxides, hydroxides, sulfates, and carbonates. Come on, let's go! The first compound we will be learning about today are oxides. So, how would you get oxides? Oxides are oxygen combined with another element. For example, oxygen plus carbon equals carbon dioxide. This is because there is one carbon atom, which is represented by C, and two oxygen atoms, which is represented by O2. Therefore, it is put together as CO2. Are oxides metal or non-metal? So, oxides can be both metal or non-metal, depending on what atom it is combined with. An example of a metal oxide is magnesium oxide. An example of a non-metal oxide would be sulfur dioxide. The uses of oxides. There are a lot of different oxides because you can combine it with various types of elements. So this means that there are many uses of oxides. For example, magnesium oxide is used as a supplement to maintain enough magnesium in the body. It is also used to treat indigestion or as a laxative to relieve constipation. Sulfur oxide is used as a disinfectant, a refrigerant, a reducing agent, a type of bleach, and a fruit preservative. The symbol for oxides are O2. This is because O is oxygen, and 2 is representing the two oxygen atoms. Therefore, O2. Now, our second topic for today, hydroxides. How do you get hydroxides? So hydroxides are basically hydrogen plus oxygen. And it is written as hydroxide because it is hydrogen, but the ending of the word is modified to oxygen. Then we change the end of oxygen to ide, meaning that two elements are combined to make up hydroxides. Are hydroxides metals or non-metals? Hydroxides can be either metal or non-metal. An example of a metal hydroxide is sodium hydroxide. An example of a non-metal hydroxide is ammonium hydroxide. What are the uses of hydroxides? Sodium hydroxides are used to make pharmaceutical products, ranging from aspirin, which is a pain reliever, to anticoagulants, which is used to prevent blood from clotting. Ammonium hydroxides are utilized as a cleaning agent and sanitizer in many households and industrial cleaners. It is also used in the manufacture of products like fertilizer, plastic, rayon, and rubber. The symbol for hydroxide is OH. This is because there is one oxygen atom, which is represented by O, and one hydrogen atom, which is represented by H. And now they are combined to make hydrogen. OH. Next topic, sulfates. So how do you get sulfates? Sulfates are sulfur plus oxygen. The 8 in sulfates represents that the compound has a really high oxidation level. Are sulfates metals or non-metals? Sulfates are a non-metal. An example of a non-metal sulfate would be sodium lauryl sulfate and its best friend sodium laureth sulfate. The uses of sulfates. Sulfates are commonly used as cleansing and foaming agents. For example, you could find sulfates in your shampoo, toothpaste, and the symbol more. for sulfates are SO42. S representing sulfur, O4 representing the four oxygen atoms in the sulfate, and 2 representing the fact that the molecule is charged twice. Next topic, carbonates. How do you get carbonates? Carbonates are made up of oxygen and carbon. The 8 in carbonates signifies that the compound has a high oxidation level. Are carbonates metals or non-metals? 
Carbonates can be either a non-metal or a metal. An example of a metal carbonate is sodium carbonate. An example of a non-metal carbonate is calcium carbonate. The uses of the compound, what are carbonates used for? Carbonates are commonly used as raw materials in a lot of industrial processing, including medicine research, glass production, pulp and paper manufacturing, soap and detergent manufacturing, clay and concrete manufacturing, and so much more. The symbol for carbonates are CO32. It is written as CO32 because there is one carbon atom, therefore C. O3 represents the fact that there are three oxygen atoms, and one of the oxygen atoms are double bonded, hence two. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed our virtual chemistry class. Now go on and be a good student, study compounds and revise for your exams. Credits Manager Marissa Conceptualist Haley Proofreader and Research Marissa and Chelsea Main Animators Marissa and Haley Main Editor Haley Extra Editors and Animators Chelsea and Natalie the teacher who taught us about compounds, the most amazing, beautiful, kind, hardworking, and most compassionate teacher in the galaxy, Miss Ayn. Voiceover by yours truly. Audio and sound effects by Haley and Marissa. Music, Better Days by Lakey Inspired. Content, oxides, Marissa. Hydroxides, Haley. Sulfates, Chelsea. Carbonates, Natalie. Animation app, Canva. Editing software, ClipChamp, and Filmora 9. All right, all right, everyone, cut the music. Um, let's go. Chop, chop. Goodbye.